Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. The theme of today's lesson is slang related to food and drink. So, in this lesson you will learn 16 slang words and phrases related to food and drink. Number one, to feel peckish, feel peckish. This, this means to feel a little bit hungry. You are not very, very hungry, just a little hungry. So you don't want to eat a big meal, but you want to eat something. You want to eat something small. And peckish comes from the verb peck. So what does peck mean? Well, birds peck at food when they eat. Okay, so this action where the head comes down and then up, down and then up, that is pecking, pecking at food. Let's look at an example. So somebody is at work and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. John is eating an apple because he is feeling peckish. He is feeling peckish. Okay, so he has already had breakfast, but he has not yet had lunch. So it is between breakfast and lunch, and he's starting to feel peckish. Okay, a little bit hungry. And these words, these two words mean very hungry. Starving. Example. Let's go for lunch. I'm starving. So this is an adjective. And another adjective that means very hungry is ravenous. Ravenous. When will dinner be ready? I'm ravenous. And here is a funny expression when we are very hungry. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. And the poor horse here looks very worried, doesn't he? Brecky. This is one that we often say, but we don't often write it. Okay, so this is usually only um, spoken English. And it means breakfast. So the first meal of the day, the first meal in the morning. Claire has cereal for brekkie every morning. And I had bacon and eggs for brekkie. So I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. And this is obviously a very traditional English breakfast. But don't worry, we do not eat this every single day. We often eat this perhaps at the weekend when we have more time to cook it. And it's not very healthy. Brunch. Brunch. This is a very common word. And it is in fact the combination of two words. So the BR, the BR of brunch comes from the word breakfast. And the rest of it, unch, it comes from lunch. So therefore brunch is a combination of two meals. It is a combination of breakfast and lunch. So it is a meal that replaces breakfast and lunch. So it is often um, a combination of savoury food and sweet foods. So it is sweet and savoury. It is a meal that we eat in the late morning. So we eat it maybe around 10 o'clock, maybe half past 10, 11 o'clock. Okay, so it's after the usual breakfast time, but before the usual lunch time. And therefore we often eat brunch at the weekend because we get up later. So we sleep later on Saturday and Sunday, we get up late. It is too late for breakfast, but it is too early 
for lunch. So we combine the two and we eat brunch. Mark and Jane eat brunch together every Sunday morning. Okay. And a lot of restaurants you'll see um, in the UK, uh, a lot of restaurants, um, they sell brunch on a Saturday and Sunday morning. Okay. And pubs as well. A few pubs do it as well. Sarni. This simply means sandwich. So it is a noun. It's a noun that means sandwich. Jane asks, what did you have for lunch? And Mark replies, I had a chicken sarni. I had a chicken sarni. So this means I had a chicken sandwich. Before we continue, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Scoff. This is a verb. And it means eat something quickly because you are hungry. The dog is scoffing the hamburger. Sarah is scoffing the donuts. Okay, so Sarah is eating the donuts very quickly. To pig out on something. So notice the form we have pig out. This is, um, yes, it, we can say it's a phrasal verb. Then we have the preposition on, and then the food that we are eating. So the thing, the thing that we are eating. So pig here, of course, pig is an animal, but here we are using pig as a verb. We have transformed the noun into a verb. And it means eat a lot of something or eat something greedily. Okay, so that is why we use the word pig because pigs, the animal pig, they eat, um, they are very greedy. They eat lots of things. So poor Claire, she is pigging out on the biscuits. She is pigging out on the biscuits. So she's eating a lot of biscuits and very greedily. Okay, and notice again, we have the form. We have pigging out, the preposition on, and then the food. Okay. It's not a very polite expression. If you say someone is pigging out on something, it's not a very... Um, it's not a very nice expression, but you hear it. It's very, very common. You'll hear it a lot. To have a sweet tooth. If someone has a sweet tooth, it means that the person likes eating sweet foods. So, so foods that contain a lot of sugar. So we have sweets, chocolate and desserts. Okay, and sweets in American English, they, they say candy. Okay, candy. Example, Jane eats three chocolate cakes every day. She has a sweet tooth. She has a sweet tooth. Okay, so she likes eating sweet foods. A doggy bag, a doggy bag. Now, this is not what you think. It is nothing to do with animals at all. This is the doggy bag. It is, in fact, more of a box. It's a box more than a bag, but we call it doggy bag. So the explanation, if you do not finish your meal in a restaurant, they give you the leftovers in a doggy bag. So the leftovers, this means the food that you did not finish. Okay, the food that is still on your plate and you are no longer hungry. So they put it in this box, this doggy bag. And then you can take the doggy bag home with you and you eat it at home. Maybe you put it in the fridge and you eat it the next day. 
Now, this doggy bags, this is very common in America, in the USA. However, this is not very common in the UK. In England and the UK, um, I would say this is common for foods like pizza, like pizza restaurants and fast food restaurants. They will always give you a box or a bag to take the food home with you. But it is not common in, um, in normal restaurants in the UK. But in the USA, it is very common in pretty much all restaurants. Okay. So tell me what you think in the comments. What is your opinion about doggy bags? Do you think they are a good thing? Or do they seem a little bit strange to you? Okay. Do, you th do they exist in your country? Do restaurants give you a doggy bag in your country or not? Tell me in the comments. So let's have an example. Mark asks, could we have two doggy bags for the leftovers, please? And the waiter says, yes, of course. So here are the two doggy bags with the leftovers, the leftovers. Brew. Um, in this context, this is a noun. And it means simply a cup of tea. So this is a very English word, a very British word, a cup of tea. Mark says, let's have a brew before the meeting starts. And John says, good idea. So he's saying, let's have a cup of tea. A common example is when you go to someone's house and they offer you a cup of tea. They might say something like, would you like a brew? And you, of course, you are very polite and you say, yes, please. Booze. This is an uncountable noun. And it means alcohol, alcohol. So here we have um, like strong alcohol, um, spirits, we call these spirits in English. And this is of course beer. Example, let's buy some booze for the party. Jane asks, do you want a beer? But Mark says, no thanks, I've given up booze. So this means that Mark does not drink alcohol. He has stopped drinking alcohol. He has given up booze. If you drink too much booze, or if you drink too much alcohol, then you will be drunk. So this is the adjective of how you feel when you have had too much alcohol. And we also have some more words, um, some more words to mean drunk. So we can say wasted, you will be wasted, you will be hammered, you will be legless. So legless means without legs because you can't walk. And finally, a very rude one, but very common, we can say you will be shit faced. Now this is, of course, this is quite rude because this is a swear word, but I included this word because it is very common. You will hear it a lot. I don't recommend you say this word, but honestly, you will hear it a lot um, in an informal context. So with friends, okay? So if someone is very, very drunk, they are wasted, they are hammered, they are legless and they are shit faced. Okay. But if you want to be normal and polite, just say drunk. Okay. So that's the end of the video. Again, don't forget to tell me in the comments, what is your opinion about doggy bags? And if you're preparing for the IELTS exam, then click here for information about our course.